Django Prepare a Coffin is an unofficial sequel to Django 1966. This one's considered more legit than the other ones because it has the same producer, however, it is not Sergio Carbucci in the director's chair, it's Ferdinando Baldi. And Franco Nero was supposed to reprise his role, however, we switch him out for Terrence Hill, who is serviceable in the role, it's just this movie was not for me. This one is about Django. He is a friends with David Barry, a, a politician who wants to become more powerful. However, he refuses to work for David. Instead, he's uh, transporting gold. Uh, however, his wife is with him and they are viciously attacked. His wife is killed. He survives his gunshot wounds and wants revenge. So many years later, Django becomes the hangman of a small town and uh, he outfits his own men by saving the lives of innocent men who have been framed by David Barry in his sort of quest for power. And using a special harness, he saves them and then sets them on the people who David Barry works for or, or works with and it's like a revenge plot, but there's like barely any action in this movie. The direction's really terrible. It's, it's very flat. It's not cinematic at all. Barely any action. Um, it feels like you're watching like a TV episode or something. Uh, you know, you, you have that big epic action sequence at the end of the movie, but the, the movie just seems really long and drawn out and they introduce a lot of different characters and they're not very interesting. Uh, the plot sort of loses itself and you know, Django wants revenge. It's a very simple story, but they just keep having double crosses. And the movie got really annoying because whenever they'd have someone uh, like have power over Django, like they've captured him or they're about to shoot him, they always mess it up. And it's like some, you know, it's like half the time it feels like the story just doesn't want to kill him. And he's not getting out through his own guile or his own expertise. It's just the villain's like, oh, don't kill him though. Uh, I want him alive for interrogation or whatever. And it just feels really contrived. So this one doesn't have much action. Terrence Hill does a fine job, but the story just isn't there. That can kind of be propped up with lots of action and lots of style, but this is definitely a flat spaghetti western. Uh, and one of, you know, a lot of people consider this one of the better Django films, but not me. So I give it a four out of 10.